everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're going to be doing, we are going to be subtracting by tens on an open number line today. And what do we need for that? But an open number line. So the open number lines, as you can see, are a blank number line. And the cool thing about using an open number line is you can start and stop where you need to. You're not so restricted like on a regular number line or a hundreds chart that you have to follow numbers specifically you kind of have a little bit more room to do what you need to do quickly, okay? Especially if you don't have something like that available. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start with 70 minus 20, okay? So the big question is, where do I start? Where do I stop? How do I place numbers on this number line? Well, when I'm thinking about a number line, a hundred chart, I'm thinking about my greater numbers being towards the right because when you think about numbers and you start counting you start at your left with numbers less in value and you move to the right because they grow they increase in value so when you subtract you're going to do the opposite you're going to start at your larger number because that is what you're taking away from so notice i have 70 and i want to take away that 20. so where do i want to place 70. Obviously, I'm going to be placing it now at the right, because when you subtract, you're counting back. So that means your numbers are going to decrease or go down in value. So let's do this. If it's 70 minus 20, the beauty of that open number line, I could put 70 right around there. Okay. Now, the trick is minus 20. I want to break that down a little bit. So I'm thinking back to place value. So if I have 20, I have to think, how many tens are there in 20? If I was even to build that in 10 sticks, how many 10 sticks would I need in order to build a 20? Well, you would need two. So I'm going to break that down into tens so I could count back a little bit easier. So let's start here. So if I'm at 70, one hop, there's that minus 10. There's your 110. But remember, I need two. Minus another 10. But I'm not done with really showing my work. I'm only part way there because there's 110, two tens, two tens together. That's going to give me my 20. But now I got to figure out what my answer is. So if I'm starting at 70, thinking about, hmm, I'm counting back by tens. 70, one more 10. What are you thinking? <laughs> it's 60. And then I still need one more. 70, 60, I hope you said it, 50. So technically, 70 minus 20 is going to give me a difference of 50. So that's the nice thing about using that open number line. That's the nice thing about knowing how to skip count backwards by tens. That's what's going to help us. So you ready for another one? Hold tight. Okay, we're back. So now here's our new problem. We have 60 minus 30 equals. So yet again, where do I want to start? My larger number here is 60. I want to take away 30 from that. So let's start with my 60 over here to the right. That's my larger number there. And I want to count back 30. So how do I want to do that? I want to split that up by tens. So now I'm thinking 30 how many tens are in 30? How many hops back now am I going to take? Well, if I'm thinking about 30, look at that tens place. Three. So therefore, I have three tens. So I want to count back three times. So here I go. There's one ten, two tens, and three tens. So now, here we go. Now we really want to start counting back. Starting at 60, start thinking 10 less, 50, hope you're saying it before me, 
40. And one more. 30. So here, 60 minus 30, my difference here is going to be 30. So notice how we're still showing all that work. We're showing how many hops back because of the number of tens. We're showing how we are progressing and counting backwards. Notice how those numbers are decreasing because we are subtracting. All right. You ready for one more sample? Here it comes. Okay, we're back. So now we have 100 minus 40 equals. So, wow, this is our biggest number yet. So we're looking at 100. So again, on our open number line, where do we want to start? Again, we want to start all the way to the right over here for our larger numbers. And I want to count back how many tens. Remember, I want to break this down. So if I'm looking at the number 40, how many tens? Four. That's telling me four hops back. So here we go. One, two, three, and four. So now we got to start counting back here because we're showing what we have to count back. So now a hundred, help you count back with me, 90, 80, 70, and 60. So your answer here, 100 minus 40, it's going to give me a difference of 60. So see, it's so fun to use an open number line because you have so much room to work with numbers. And it just really gives you such good review skills on counting on, counting back, depending on what you're doing, either you're adding or subtracting. And uh, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our little tutorial on subtracting on this open number line today. As I always tell you to please practice at home. And I'll be talking to you all again soon. Bye, everyone.